Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Ashley and I am a six-figure reseller on Poshmark, eBay, TradeZ, and my own site. So today I'm gonna to be going over how to set up your own website to sell your own goods. And this will be specifically on Shopify. I prefer Shopify because it is specifically for selling items. It has a lot of integrations for reports for your sales and for shipping. So overall, it's going to be your best bet. Creating your own website can be very beneficial if you have your own products, if you have your own product that you've created, if you're trying to resell products, which is what I do, or if you're trying to start an online boutique from wholesale, whatever you're looking to do there's so many benefits to having your own site it's great for branding and also it prevents any large fees being taken out of your cut from your sales on shopify there is a small credit card fee which is very common just for any vendors that are out there so essentially you're getting a hundred percent of the money that you're making from your sales and if you've never made a shopify website before it can be a little bit intimidating but i'm here to tell you it's super easy if you can make a myspace page you can make a shopify Shopify page. I will preface this video that I am not a Shopify expert by any sort of means. I literally have such a basic store, but it works for me and it allows me to have my products out there and market to people without having to take a majority of fees, such as the 20% from Poshmark or the 10% from eBay. But that is my whole point. You don't have to be super advanced to get started on it. Anyone can do it. So I'll be breaking down this video into three parts. The first one being obtaining your Shopify accounts. The second one being customizing your site. And third, getting product onto your site. So it's three very easy steps. Everything can be done, honestly, in one day, getting it set up and then throughout the week you can get products on. So if you sit down for a week, you can get your whole site set up. So let's get into starting your Shopify account. So the first thing you need to do is sign up with Shopify. It's very easy. Go to the website and get started, put in your account and a password, and then essentially you'll have your own account. You do have to select what plan you'd like. I personally pay just annually and I think it's around like $350, but you can choose whatever works for you if you'd rather pay monthly. And then after that, if you would like to change your domain name, otherwise it'll be a myshopify.yourcompanyname.com. So if you wanted to have more of a branded, easy to read, easy to type in domain, then you will have to purchase that as well. I believe it's $14 a year. It's really cheap to create your own domain. You just have to make sure that the domain isn't taken. It's really easy to purchase that on Shopify as well. It's in the toolbar there and you just have to follow the instructions to purchase your domain. And once you have those two things done, you are all set, you've completed step one. I think once you can just get past that point, it's a lot easier to start getting going on your site. The next step is to customize your site, which is the fun part of creating your own Shopify store. There is so much that can go into the customization of Shopify, but you can always just keep it really basic. They have a bunch of free templates that you can use. They have options where you can go out and purchase different things. But honestly, I think their free options are great and a really great starting point. So don't feel the need to go out and purchase a different template to customize your site. I feel like sometimes I'll go to different stores of like really higher end brands and I feel like I noticed that they're using just the free design templates that they already provide. Once you've selected your design template, you can go in and customize it even more by clicking the online store. So it'll open up a page where it will show you what your site currently looks like. And from there, you can change things around, play around with it and see what you like, add in some photos, add in some wording for branding, and then you kind of have the overall look of your site set up. You have options to change the colors if you would like. I would suggest that you don't go overboard on it. There's so many things you can change. Keep it simple to start off with. If you put too much time into the customization, you might delay adding products on. So you're really hindering how quickly you are starting. Get to the point, see what you like and get the products on so you can start selling instead of wasting too much time. Once you're done putting together the overall look of your page on that one live screen, you'll wanna go ahead and create pages. There's two different types of pages that you'll wanna create. You'll wanna go ahead and create collections. So based on the type of items you're selling, for me, for example, I have collections for categories of clothing, tops, jeans, pants, dresses, whatever. Based on whatever type of item you're selling, maybe you sell accessories such as stickers versus water bottles, notepads, anything like that that you wanna separate out into collections. 
You don't have to put any type of detail into them, just label the collection and save it, and then you'll be able to categorize your products into those collections and it'll separate it out by page. The next thing you'll wanna create is the actual pages. You may wanna have different pages for every main menu with maybe even your return policy in your main menu. This is where you'd go ahead and create that. You can keep it very simple. Like I said, you can always go into a deep dive and figure out all those codings, make it look prettier. But when initially starting off, just go ahead and fill that out with what you want Want to have and then move on to the next thing. Once you have those on, you'll pretty much have a well-rounded page that you can start adding products to and then get going and launch. Now that you have your site all together, it's time to add products on. But perhaps you don't have products anywhere. Maybe you're starting your own online boutique or you just have your own products that you're selling that you don't have hosted on any other platforms. You can go ahead and just press product, add in all the products manually. It's very simple, just like any other platform. You add your pictures, you fill everything out, you add it to a collection, and then you press active. And from there, you have your product on your site. It's very, very simple. You just have to follow the instructions and then you'll be able to get on. You just continue with that process and eventually you will have your whole store built out. If you currently have your items hosted on another platform such as eBay, Etsy, Poshmark or anything like that, it can be really easy to import that information directly into Shopify. And you can do that with List Perfectly. List Perfectly is an automated processing service that allows you to take information from one platform and transfer it to another platform, sometimes as quickly as one click of a button. Once you have everything moved over depending on the plan you have you might be able to press activate and then have your products go live or if you have more of a simple plan you may have to enter some more information in using list perfectly honestly makes it so easy to go ahead and get all your items on it can be super time consuming to add products onto shopify if you do have them listed elsewhere why do extra work and put them all in manually when you can just click a button select multiple items get them all over to shopify and then have your site up really really quick if you currently do not have list perfectly you can use my code recloth that's r-e-c-l-o-t-h for 30 percent off your first month go ahead and give it a try especially if you're looking to start a shopify page i highly suggest you get list perfectly first if you do have items on other platforms in order to get it set up it can be really easy to let shopify just hang in the corner and not get everything started but once you have it all set up it's so much easier to get that momentum going and actually have a site and what's even more fun is I've partnered with List Perfectly to offer you a free month. All you have to do is subscribe to my channel and subscribe to List Perfectly's channel, as well as comment down below either A, what you love about List Perfectly if you currently have it, or B, what you would be most looking forward to to have List Perfectly if you don't have it. And if you are selected to win the giveaway, you can receive a full month free courtesy of List Perfectly. The giveaway will last one week, so I will go ahead and announce it in in my next two videos so that I can give it a full week and pull the winner make sure you follow those instructions if you need a reminder I'll put it in the description so just make sure you follow that and you'll have a chance to win after you have all your products up you are all done you are all set you can continue to add products over time or you can just keep it as is if you just have replenishable products but it's as simple as that one two three sign up customize your site and get the products on if you'd like in your future to have your Shopify page be a little bit more advanced or have some more specific customization to it you can google some stuff figure out how to change whatever aspect you need to if you just google the answers people will have the coding and you can just copy and paste it into the coding section which I don't highly recommend if you're not into that it can be very complicated if you don't save a copy of your current code it can be really easy to mess up I just recommend you leave it alone if you would like to add other features to your Shopify page Shopify does have a app store where you can go ahead and easily add different apps apps to your page to add different features. For example, I have a review app for one of my websites that sends out emails to customers to review a specific product that is automated. And then I also have another app that is an affiliate marketing manager to help people sign up and create an affiliate marketing program for my website. Some of these apps you do have to pay for, some of them are free. Just something to note, you can always just search a store or even just search Google for some of the best apps that are out there for your current niche and just go from there. So I hope you've enjoyed 
give this really basic overview. If you have any questions, leave them below in the comments. I am not an expert, but I will try my best to answer any questions that you may have. And if you've liked this video, give it a thumbs up. It really helps my channel and make sure to subscribe. I put out videos every Wednesday. If you are entering the List Perfectly giveaway, be sure to check out my video in the next two weeks to see if you've won. I hope you all have a really good rest of your week and I will see you next time. Bye.